video demonstrating the use of uh, a new composition that I just published to the Steam Workshop for generating a slideshow briefing. So let's get on with it. So if um, you open up any map or anywhere in the editor, once you've got the uh, mod loaded or the workshop mod loaded, that is this one here. It's called Slideshow Briefing. Um, it's a public uh, on the Steam Workshop for Arma 3. And there's a little description there, which I will expand once I finish this video. I'll also put in the video a link. Uh, so if you download this, you subscribe to this, then it will then appear in your um, cu custom compositions. So I've got it already here. Um, it's listed as slideshow briefing. Uh, do a quick search for slide if you've got a lot of compos and then you'll find it easily. So slideshow briefing and then just drop it in. Okay, so that's that. So you'll see they have a group of assets here. Um, actually one thing before, uh, let's just go back a second. Just a quick tip, just before you drop anything in, just make sure that these two things are toggled off. So they should appear like this. If you toggle them on, I'll show you what happens when you drop something in, whether it's this composition or any other. You get weird things like laptops flying up in space, um, things like this as well. Uh, so let's delete those again, do it again this time. Toggle that off, toggle that off. And now when we put it in, you'll see that everything is correctly placed. Okay, and also what you need to do is to move things around, do not drag and with the mouse, otherwise that's going to cause problems. Use the rotation widget and the translation widget. So if I want to move this composition back, say towards that wall there, I can now just grab the green line and move it. Everything moves together at the same level. Okay, so that's done. So that's it. Composition is now placed. Everything's ready to go. So we have a module here and we have a bunch of assets. So you will see that we have, um, in order to project a slideshow, you need two things. You need a projector or a remote controller and a screen. So in this setup, we have two screens. We have, if you look at the screen tip, you'll see um, screen one is a billboard. Screen two is a whiteboard. And then we also have the laptop. A laptop is both a remote controller and a screen. And then we also have over here a projector, which is classed as a remote one. Um, to get those names, all you do oops, is double click on it. And just in the variable name, you give it a name. Um, these ones that are already in there are what have been used in the, in the uh, composition. So you don't need to change them, but you can if you want to. Uh, same with the screens. Screen one, the billboard. Screen two for the whiteboard. And the laptop is just called laptop one. Okay. So now all that is sorted out. If you have a look at the slideshow module, you can see that the objects objects of what is projected onto. So that is where your screen slides will appear. So screen one, comma, screen two, comma, a laptop one. So whatever is projected will be projected onto all three of those things. The controllers are remote one, comma, and laptop one. So each of the names that you get from these objects, you need to drop into these two locations, one for the screens which is objects and one for the controllers which is the remotes okay so that's that the next thing you'll see is the images and obviously if you're going to have a slideshow you need to have something to project so what we need is a group of images i have given a, a large group of i think there's 13 images in here and they are all as you can see from the image selection here supposed to be in a folder called slideshow. So that's the next thing that we need to create. We need to create a folder called slideshow. 
and then each image I've given a different title which you can chop and change to your uh, preference uh, but um, it's easy just to oh well I'll come on to that a little bit later so let's just do this so slideshow okay so in order to find out where our mission or to get a mission folder we need to save this scenario so we save this um, I've got a compost folder uh, I've already got it saved as test ones but I'll save it again now so just give it a simple name test one okay so if we now tab out to our documents folder you should have a folder documents armor 3 profiles your name and then multiplayer missions so actually it's a long one isn't it so um so armor 3 other profiles and then we have where did i put that one in compose or in compose here so there we go test one chongo so if we open that folder now this is the one that we just saved test one we have a mission file what we need to do is create a new folder and give it the name slideshow it doesn't have to be called that it's just that's what it's called in the composition so it just makes it easier okay and then into this folder here you need to put the images for your um, slides so i've got a bunch that i've already created here so i'm just going to copy those across and drop those in there now the very simplest way to do this is just to give them titles like s1 s2 s3 or even just one two three for slides um, i've given them descriptive names which makes it easier to once you're in the actual um, mission to go to a specific file or a specific slide if somebody requests to see that one like rules of engagement different phases maps etc adverts whatever you want to put in there um, if you just put s1 s2 s3 s4 it's kind of difficult to remember which ones you've got so once that's done we've put those images into our slideshow folder we're done so we can now go back to the uh, mission and if we play scenario might get a bit of droppage and a bit of funny business with our uh, laptops if we at this point if we hadn't done that um, toggling of the uh, locking so now you see the both sitting perfectly on the desks and you'll see that on the laptop we already have one image that image is also on the uh, whiteboard and it's also on the billboard now all of the images that I've used are designed size wise to fit onto the billboard because that's the biggest and easiest if you get anything that's a different um, dimension or a different aspect ratio you're going to get clipping so you can see the difference between the billboard and the whiteboard you see the whiteboard is clipped quite a lot so just make sure that you save the images sizes relevant to whatever it is that you're going to be projecting onto and you can project onto anything that's available in armor whether it's a tv a billboard a whiteboard any object okay the screen has the same resolution as the billboard so there's no clipping on that one okay so now if we use our windows interaction we can see the slides and this is what i was talking about giving them descriptive names so each one of the images has got a descriptive name so if i want to go to say title then up there we have the title on the laptop we have the title and on the billboard whiteboard side we have the title um, so that's going to change everything if we go to the um, projector you can see a little bit easier so if we go to interactions on this one slides go back to the advert go to let's say phase one all your information is up there go to phase one let's say phase two map or your map two and then you get your map up there and let's rules of engagement separate phases and you can also put things like communications frequencies uh, leave those up so there's no you don't get people coming to ask you every two minutes just point them in that direction and also um, any other information that you want to put up there whether it's um, 
if you're using training, obviously, then you can put a lot of training slides up there with information for each uh, different thing that you're doing. Um, or just throw up something like a general screen like that. That's a general background. Okay, so that's it. That's how it works. Very simple, very easy. And I will link the, this video once I've published it. And I will link um, information on the file names in the uh, YouTube page and on this video. So let's just actually go back quickly to Eden Editor. Because there is one other thing that you need to uh, note on the module. Yeah, that's the interaction names. The interaction names point to each one of the slideshows. So slideshow advert JPG is linked to the first interaction name. So I've given it the interaction name of 01 advert comma and then 02 title. So these will go to these here. So you just need to have the same number and the same order. Um, if you're just calling your names S1, S2, S3, then you can put that interaction name as well, S1, S2, S3. It's very, very simple. But just for clarity, um, when you're actually in the mission uh, and the ability to find different slides very easily, it's better, as I said, to give them descriptive names. And everything here, 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 and here is just separated with commas. Okay, as long as you get your commas in the right places, that's all you need to do.